if ink spreads a bit when you write, is it more to do with the ink or the paper? Okay. Um, the reason I put this question under paper is because I think the paper is generally the bigger factor. Now, obviously, it's ink, it's pen, and it's paper. All these things factor in, not to mention the relative humidity in the air, your writing speed, writing pressure, all of these various things. But I think the biggest, the biggest factor for um, spread, bleed through, dry time, all of these things is the paper itself. It's something that not a lot of people really think about, especially if you're new and kind of coming over into the fountain pen world. You're just used to like whatever paper because when you're using a rollerball or a pencil or a ballpoint, which I don't even have a ballpoint handy, thank goodness. Um, if you're using those on just whatever kind of paper, it's thicker ink. This is a paste gel ink and it's, gonna, it's not going to soak in to pretty much whatever paper you're using unless you're using something really just terrible. Um, but when you're using fountain pen ink, it's much more liquid. So it's gonna be much more susceptible to absorbency and spread depending on the type of paper that you have. So if you're using say an inkjet copy paper or a very extreme example, a paper towel, it's gonna be super absorbent versus a really high quality, um, you know, coated clay-based paper, then you're gonna have a very different experience, even with the same ink pen, everything else, all other factors combined. So you can have like the worst paper change your ink and your nib and all that stuff, and it will definitely help, but I think the paper is gonna be some of the biggest factor there. I would say that in terms of ink, um, to kind of you know balance this answer out a little bit, um, the type of ink that I find spreads the most is quick dry inks and many of the permanent inks, not all of them, but some of the permanent inks do tend to spread a little bit more. Um, and then as far as the paper goes, I find inkjet paper to be very absorbent because inkjet printer ink is very liquid as opposed to laser toner, which uh, is not, you know, it's not even really ink, it's, it's toner, um, but it's uh, uh, laser printer paper tends to be more heavily coated. So it's actually gonna perform better most of the time with fountain pen ink than inkjet paper ink will, uh, inkjet paper will. Um, most planners don't have fantastic ink in them unless they're kind of specifically designed for people that might use higher quality pens, fountain pens especially. Uh, moleskins, I think, have some of the worst paper even though they're extremely popular. Um, and then, generally speaking, recycled paper products are not that fantastic, though I do hear some exceptions, like Staples, Staples has a sustainable earth line and things like that. Um, but in the, for the most part, recycled paper is usually not the best.